As airlines slash their schedules, some flights are getting more crowded, and now a lawmaker is getting involved. Phil Abo is here. He's got the story on that front. Phil, good morning. Becky, the lawmaker is Representative Peter DeFazio. He runs the House Transportation Committee. When he talks, airlines listen. And it is images like this that really have caught the attention of Representative DeFazio and really a lot of people who are criticizing just how many people are on some of the flights, not all of the flights, but some of the flights now, even at a time when the airlines are saying, look, we're going to try to promote social distancing. Representative DeFazio says all middle seats should be open. The airlines should do that. He sent a letter to the airlines. Also wants them to limit capacity to 67 percent. In his letter that he sent yesterday, he writes, who among the CEOs of the Air A4A carriers, that's Airlines for America, would want a member of their own family to be assigned to a middle seat between two potentially contagious passengers in the middle of a global pandemic? At this point, he is urging the airlines to keep that middle seat open. He has not yet said whether or not he would push for some type of legislation to require that. As you take a look at the airline stocks, and what you're seeing here is all of these stocks, if they're not at 52-week lows, they're at multi-year lows. So the airline stocks continue to see a lot of pressure here. The number of people flying still remains very low, down 93% compared to the same day a year ago. The average plane load, about 17 passengers. Yesterday, Delta came out and said, look, we have more pilots than we need, 7,000 more than we will need in the fall of this year. That's half of their total number of pilots. They have about 14,000. They're retiring all of their 777 planes. So the airline is quickly, airline and airline industry, they're quickly moving to cut their costs as quickly as possible. As you take a look at shares of Boeing, we should also point out the company yesterday appointed a 31-year veteran of the company to spearhead health initiatives so that they can work with the airlines and policymakers to promote the fact that it is safe to fly. And guys, this is going to be an issue that is going to continue to percolate because the airlines are in a catch-22 here in terms of flying promoting social distancing, yet at the same time, they're in the business of making every flight profitable if possible.